All right, I'm gonna make this a, um, a combination of a couple of videos. Um, I can take you through the whole car, walk you around it and show you what we got. Um, this is the exterior of the car. Uh, Celine wheels are brand new. The paint's in uh, pretty good shape. And I'll get close enough for you to see it and still keep a wide view of the car, but uh, it's got newer 99 through 04 GT badges on it. Um, again, brand new Celine wheels, brand new Nitto 555 tires. Um, I'll get close enough to the hood, which is a trouble spot for the paint, which really isn't that bad, but you can see like some marks on there when you get close enough. A few little scratches. Like I said, the, the lady that owned the car before me, she kept it in a barn, so there were some cats that sat on it. Um, the headlights are brand new, six piece, inner and outer corners, headlights are brand new. Fog lights were in great shape, I did not replace those, they weren't yellow. Spots on the bumper, um, you can see where they had a, a tag screwed into the front of it. And the lady, she drove the car up up onto a curve a little bit, so there's a little bit of a spot right there on the bumper. It's messed up. So, um, nothing beyond repair. Again, this is the other side of the car. Celine wheels, obviously again. Um, I'll get close enough so you can see the quality of the paint. Little spot there on top of the molding. Um, nothing beyond repair. Um, you know, the sunroof, the roof of the car is in great shape. Sunroof does not leak. Um, you see all the body lines, they line up. They line up properly and uneven. No body lines out of control. As far as the doors are concerned also. Um, back wheels. The car has LX taillights. The cheese grater taillights have been taken out, the ones that come on the GT. See up under the car. As you can see, the tires are really wide, 285, 35, 18. You can see the exhaust down there too a little bit. No tailpipes, just dumps out of the muffler. Um, let's see. What else on the exterior? I think that's about it on the exterior. I'll step back and let you get a good picture of the car from far back. Um, no. let's see. I'll come up and I'll open it up again. The interior is out of the car. I'm in the middle of doing the dynamat. And I, I've been lazy the last couple of weekends, so I haven't even started back on it yet. But the door's open. Very clean. Um, you can see the dash everything in perfect condition that's a 92 so it got the airbag steering wheel the dash is in great shape door panels all that the mat pockets obviously those things always sag on every one I've ever seen really um, the headliners in great shape you really probably can't see that very well but good shape the odometer all that um, brand new MGW shifter with their orange race handle MGW knob the AC on the car works. Let's go back to the back here. Same thing, seats out of the car because I'm scraping and putting dynamat. This is the dynamat here. All that foil stuff with the mass bottom. And that's all the dynamat that I'm putting down for sound reasons. Um, let's see here I got, that's the console right there, or part of the console. I um, also have other parts of the interior. Back here, these fold down. That's the rest of the parts are back there. And I'll pop the hatch and show you that here in just one second. But all this functions just as it ought to. Let me see if I can. Again, here's the driver's side door panel. I'm in great shape. The one spot that we spoke about that was suspect for maybe, you know, the only, you asked me about rust, little tiny spot there. Other than that, nothing on the entire car that I know of. this open the hatch brand new hatch struts these things so the hatch stays up nice by itself original shade you pull that back cover everything up these are all the other parts the stereo the door sills kick panels shifter boot all that um, there's the nitrous bottle got some garbage down there on the side but it's got the gauge everything the lines ran up into the thing there all cleanly installed Let's see, so that's that's that. I mean, all these panels are in great shape. Let's see, I take you all the way around here, show you. So that's that. 
So again, I'll show you up in the hatch too. There's no, no unsuspected rust. Nothing. This is a good spot where these cars rust is along here and along this area. These are all in really good shape. Nothing wrong. Take you up the other side. It's a little spot there where there was a screw right there. Just probably needs a little bit of paint there, but no, nothing major. You know, up there. Take you along the side of the car too, because these cars are notorious for being twisted up. Um, right in this area here is where you would usually see a buckle if the car has been drag raced on sticky tires with no subframe connectors. Um, car is extremely straight, as you can see. There's no. Uh, let me take you down the other side too. Shut this. As you can see, the car is extremely straight. No body issues. Um, just a beautiful car. Um, what else might you need to see? Um, I can show you. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go under the hood. I'm kind of a no-frills guy. I don't do a whole lot of shiny stuff. Everything needs to be um, durable and and just work. So there's no, you're not going to find a tremendous amount of shiny parts under this hood. Um, but... Um, brand new Spyro Cell, Optima red top battery, new UPR billet aluminum caster camera plates, BBK long tubes, uh, ported gasket match upper and lower Typhoon intake, X303 aluminum cylinder heads, which you really can't see from here, um, MSD box, there's the 6A box down there, cold air tube, 65 millimeter throttle body, 76 millimeter mass air meter. Uh, again, the AC does work on it. AC, heat, everything works on this car. Um, no issue here. Oh, there you go. And there's the go. You get the nitrous work kit. That gold piece is the spray bar plate for the uh, nitrous kit. Um, let's see. Let me. I'll walk you around the car so you can hear it. Yeah, the camshaft is uh, over a half inch of lift. Um, car idles really well. No idle issues. Car stays under 180 degrees in traffic with the air on. Very rough idle. Um, if I had seats in it, I'd go for a ride in it so you could uh, hear how it drives, how it sounds going down the road. However, obviously, no seats, nothing to sit on would be kind of difficult. Um, I hope to button that up over the next week. But that's that's the long and the short of it. That's the car. I've shown you everything. We'll look in the passenger side just so we can say we did it. Again, door opens perfect. Oh, if it was unlocked, let me unlock it. Door locks work. Uh, both windows roll down. They both both window motors work. Just FYI. 
sunroof operates. So, back opens. Go to the other side, show you that door works fine. Again, same stuff. Mat pockets suck, they sag. Dash is in great shape. The spot I showed you on, I told you about on the dash where they put screw hole in it for the tack. That's that. That's the only spot in the dash. Other than that, cleaning the floorboards up. Dynamat, new carpet. Same stuff here. No rust. Nothing twisted. Everything in great shape. So that's that.